Hello. Hey guys, today we have another exciting video. I'm doing all the books that I have on my physical TBR. It's a lot, let me count. I thought I would have more, but it's 43, which I feel like is a decent amount, maybe. Let me organize them by series. Okay, the first book I'm gonna start with is Always and Forever Laura Jean by Jenny Han. I'm actually going to read this book next. I'm currently in the middle of the second one of the series. This is the third. So this will be my next read. And then another book to end the series is Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows. I have been reading this series since October is when I started it. And I read the first six books in like a month. And then I have really been putting this one off. Simply because I don't want the series to end. I have never read harry potter or seen it which feels like criminal to say at this point because i'm obsessed i have been reading a book watching a movie reading a book watching a movie and it has been so fun which is why i just don't want this to end so i don't know when i'm gonna read this book but i don't think it's gonna be anytime soon i want to cherish it forever <laughs> another series is the final offer by lauren asher the first two weren't my favorite, which is why I'm waiting to read this one. And I also want to get it on audiobook because I just prefer that for these books. Just because I can get through them faster because they're not my favorite. And the font is kind of small and the book is kind of big. So we'll see when I get this one done. These next books, I feel like I'm going to get yelled at for. But that's the Avatar series. I don't know why I haven't started this. For a while I was waiting until I got the last one, but my boyfriend got me this for Valentine's Day and now I don't have any more excuses. So yeah, I know I want to annotate it, which is kind of why I've been putting it off because annotating takes me just a little longer. Um, but I need some motivation. So please motivate me and I will start this soon. This next series, I don't even know if I want to read it. I don't know. That's... Anyways, that is the Red Queen series. I think I have all the books. Oh my goodness. This just keeps falling off the bed. <laughs> yeah, I have the whole series, I'm pretty sure. I just... It hasn't spoken to me yet, and the last one is kind of long, so we'll see. We'll see. Okay, some more books that are part of a series are these three, and that is The Box in the Woods, The Hand on the Wall, and The Vanishing Stair, which I think I said in backwards order. But these are by Maureen Johnson, and that is the Truly Devious series. I just read Truly Devious recently and I actually really liked it. So that is definitely a series I want to continue very soon. I also have these three Colleen Hoover books, which I've read most of her books. Not these three, apparently. Um, and that's Finding Perfect, Losing Hope, and Hopeless. Again, I think I read them in backwards order, but whatever. I've been waiting to get Finding Cinderella before I start these. I like to have all the books in a series before I start the series. Even though I could very well hate this series and not want to continue. I don't know. It's just a weird thing. Couldn't tell ya. And I've heard Hopeless is very underrated. Like it's a lot of people's favorite even though it's not talked about very much. So I do want to read them. I also have the second book in the Inheritance Games series. I read the Inheritance Games over a year ago and I've been waiting for this to come out in paperback. And the final gambit doesn't come out in paperback until July. So I'm putting this book off until closer to July so that I don't forget what happened in this one before I read the third because I already forgot what happened in the Inheritance Games. So this one I have a reason to be putting off. I also have these two by Tessa Bailey. I have Tools of Engagement and Fix Her Up. These are part of a little trilogy companion novel series I read. 
love her lose her which i don't even think is the first one i'm pretty sure fix her up is the first one i don't know you don't have to read them in a certain order but yeah i don't know tessa bailey is not my favorite author so i think that's why i've been putting these off but i do think they'll be a quick read a series i'm excited to start this is also a companion novel series and that is the influencer series by amy leah leah lay i'm not sure but i have x's and o's and set on you this i'm excited the tropes in them are kind of cool like this is a gym influencer and this is a booktuber which i love both of those things so i'm looking forward to these i will definitely be picking these ones up pretty soon also in a companion novel series, clearly I have a lot of series, is Bad Girl Reputation by L. Kennedy. This one I'm actually looking forward to. Good Girl Complex, I put off reading for the longest time and I actually really enjoyed it. So I'm excited to read this one and it's always nice when you can like come back to a universe and already know the characters and not have to relearn everything. So this I expect to pick up probably soon. We'll see. I have two Allie Hazelwood books that I need to read soon, and that is Love on the Brain and Loathe to Love You. I don't know, I don't have a reason to not be reading these, I just have other books I've been wanting to read more, so. Okay, I have two more books that are by the same author, and then after that I think all the rest of the books are just kind of random. And those two are Taylor Jenkins Read Books, it is After I Do and Forever Interrupted, both of which I don't really know what they're about, but I'm excited to read them. TJR is like my favorite author and I do want to complete her entire backlist, so that is what we're working on. I think these two might be the last ones I have. I'm not sure, but regardless, I am excited to read them. Next, such a random book. I've literally had this for like five years and I do want to read it. And that is My Son Marshall, My Son Eminem. It is Eminem, the rapper's mom's book. And it's like her story of being his mother. Next, I have Magnolia Parks by Jessa Hastings. This one I am stoked to start. I had been wanting this for quite a while, but it was so expensive and it still kind of is, but I've heard so many good things. I just like cannot wait. And I love the spines when you have all four of the books, the spines and the way they match. It's so pretty and the covers. They're like so random, but beautiful. And I'm excited to own all of them eventually. Okay, complete 180, but Lock Every Door by Riley Sager. I've never read one of his books. I'm kind of nervous too. I don't know, I hope it's not too scary. I'm loving the pink and purple cover though. So it's kind of fun. I also have Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow by Gabrielle Zevin. And this one I'm also excited to read. It feels kind of big, but it's only like 350 pages, so that's actually not too bad. And the cover is beautiful, so we will be reading this very soon, even though I feel like I've said that about every book. This next one is a book I've probably had for over a year, and one of the only reasons why I haven't picked it up is because I don't like the cover, which is Roomies by Christina Lauren, and they are my favorite authors. The next two books I haven't been wanting to read because they are sad, and i've been going through it so i don't need any i don't need an extra push i can do that on my own um but that is if he had been with me which i know is gonna break my heart i have heard such sad things and i just don't think i'm ready for it and then i also have a little life which i'm equally not ready for maybe one day but i'm gonna wait we're kind of nearing the end i do need to pick it up a little bit because that camera battery is about to die but i have part of your world by abby jimenez I've never read one of her books, so I'm excited to. My camera battery died, but I'm back, and I only have a few more books. So, the next two I feel like are going to be pretty similar. I honestly have no idea. I'm just assuming they are. And that is Icebreaker by Hannah Grace and From Love with Luca by Mariana Zapata. I know this is a slow burn, obviously, as Mariana Zapata. And this is like a sports romance, um, similar to the Off Campus series is what I've heard it. Be compared to but they're also both sports romances so this is my first Mariana Zapata book so I'm so excited and then I'm also excited to start 
yet another series. Next book is Better Than the Movies by Lynn Painter. I've had this book for quite a while and I honestly have no idea why I haven't read it yet. I've heard so many amazing things about this. People really like this book and it's supposed to be just a cute little quick YA romance and I've heard it compared to The Duff, which I love that movie. So I don't know why I haven't picked this up, but I will soon. I just read The Do-Over by Lynn Painter and I really like that book and I've heard people like better than the movies even more. So my standards are pretty high for that book and I'm excited. Next I have If We Were Villains by M.L. Rio. This book is, I've heard compared to The Alice Six, which I did really like. It's supposed to be kind of a dark academia book about some friends and a death, I'm pretty sure. Don't know when I'll get to that one, probably not anytime soon, but when I do, I think it's gonna be a good one. Um, another book I just picked up recently is Under the Whispering Door by TJ Klune. This is the author of The House in the Cerulean Sea and I loved that book. That was a totally unexpected read for me. Like I did not think I would like it that much, but I really loved it. So I can't wait for this one. I'm pretty sure this is a new release too. I think it came out recently and look the pages. They make a little tree. Okay, and now we have our last two books, Everything I Know About Love by Dolly Alderton. This is a memoir and I'm excited. I think I wanna annotate this one. Okay, and then the last book I just picked up like a week ago. I'm so excited and it is Legends and Lattes. I am so excited to try something new. And I also just really like the cover. I don't know, it's giving like Shrek kind of. So those are all the books on my physical TBR that I have not read yet. Again, if you've read any of them, please let me know. I'm really looking forward to reading them and I hope to knock off a bunch of these in March. So I don't know if this video is coming out in March or before March, but if it's coming out in March, hopefully I am reading some of these right now. But yeah. That was today's video. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.